So you want to buy a camera for your content. Let's talk about that. So when you're going to buy a webcam, it's honestly a super fun time to be in. You're thinking about all the photos you're going to take, or you're thinking about the videos you're going to make, or you're thinking about the, the podcasts you're going to do, right? Or you're thinking about just all the fun things you're going to be able to do with that camera, the memories you're going to capture, the stories you're going to tell. But you're not sure exactly what camera to get or what kind of camera to get. And you've heard a lot of things and, and you're not sure, you know, how far, how much of it is just you know, influencer blather or how much of it is actually good practical advice. So uh, today I'm, my goal is not to tell you which camera to go out and buy because I'm a firm believer that there is not a perfect camera out there. There's always some sort of downside, but there are some cameras that are better for certain people and certain applications than others. So depending on your application, will determine kind of what kind of camera you're looking for. But ultimately at the end of the day, I mainly just want to give you things to think about. So step one, the most common kind of camera that people see at, at, in a live stream and in um, these different kinds of settings is the, the webcam. I'm talking about your Logitech C920s, your Logitech Brios, your Elgato face cams, right? These cameras that sit on top of your monitor and don't move. These cameras are honestly fantastic for live streaming and for talking head content kind of like this or for things that are mostly shot at your desk, okay? Even if you have a, a webcam and you're wanting to shoot B-roll with it, right? You can definitely do that with a desk, with a webcam. Just take it off your monitor and use it as a, use it as a, a B-roll camera, right? Why you would use that over your cell phone, maybe it's ease of use, maybe you don't have to worry about transferring files, but at the end of the day, it's an option for you. Do with that information what you will. Now, things to look for in a webcam, it really boils down to what you're wanting to do, right? You have basically two things that you're looking at. You're looking at resolution and you're looking at uh, frames per second uh, or frame rate. Uh, with resolution, you're looking at basically two different settings. You're looking at a 1080p or a 4K. Now, 1080p will get will be just fine for most streamers and, and whatnot, you, that'll get you in like 90% of the way there. 1080p 30 is solid. You can't really go wrong with that. Assuming it's a high quality 1080p 30 camera. And I'll tell you what I mean by that in, in a second. Now, let's say you're wanting to maybe do some creative editing with, with, your, with your footage. You might consider getting a 1080p 60 camera and upping the frame rate to 60 frames per second. What that allows you to do is if you take that 60 frames per second and throw it into a 30 frames per second timeline, you're going to effectively get double the frames, which means when you slow it down to match that 30 frames per second, you're gonna get a much slower but smoother kind of 60 frames per second. Now, the other option you're looking at is a 4K webcam. Now, 4K basically is going to be more higher resolution, more pixels that you can play with, right? You can chop, jump in, cut in a little bit further and a little bit closer, and then you, you're good to go. Um, but at the end of the day, you're, you gotta think, you know, is that really something you want? Because jumping from a 1080p webcam to a 4, 4K webcam, you're gonna be looking at a much higher cost. Uh, for example, going from Logitech C920, from, that's 1080p 30, up to a Logitech Brio, which is a 4K30, you're looking at about a $50 difference. Uh, so the Logitech C920 right now is about 60, 70 bucks. And then the Logitech Brio as of right now is on sale for 129 because they just released the new Logitech Brio camera. But when it was first released, it was actually $200. So you're talking about over double the cost of a Logitech C920. So there's there's a quite a, a significant price jump, but you're getting quite a significant jump in quality as well. Um, that might not fit in the budget for everyone, you know, a, a $120, $130, $200 webcam, uh, but it is an option. Now, you also have webcams uh, that can get up to as high as 4K60, like the Elgato Facecam Pro. That does 4K60, it's got amazing software, it's got all the bells and whistles you could ever imagine. It's honestly a pretty solid webcam, but at $300, I'll be honest, it's hard for me to recommend to a beginner when Logitech Brio, it, even Dr. Disrespect uses a Logitech Brio. If it's good enough for the largest YouTube streamer on earth, it, it's good enough for you. 
Now, you might be tempted to think, well, I've got this cheap Chinese webcam in my Amazon shopping cart right now and it's like 20 bucks. Why doesn't that work? Well, let me let me show you a little bit of the difference in quality that you're gonna be looking at. So here are four different cameras. I have them clearly labeled. We have a Sony A6000 with a Camlink 4K, a Logitech Brio, a cheap Chinese webcam, and the Pixel 7 Pro, right? My cell phone, wirelessly connected to OBS. This is just a quick, this is the camera. They are all like bundled up right here on my desk. Uh, everybody has the exact same lighting. They're pretty much all the exact same framing. And I will let you be the judge as to which one you prefer. If you seriously consider the cheap Chinese webcam as the pinnacle of video technology, uh, I, I humbly ask you to leave the chat. <laughs> it's it's not good. You can see like it's focusing on the background. I'm kind of fuzzy. I look like I'm pale and washed out and kind of sickly green. And depending on where my hands go, I'm changing colors. It's bad white balance, bad frame rate. I mean, it's it's awful. It's awful. Right now, the Logic Brio is set to 1080p, 60 frames per second. So you see, I have a nice smooth. Again, you don't really need a whole lot when it comes to a webcam for live streaming. Let's talk about the, the, the budget options then, because maybe you don't have a 60, 70, $80 budget for a webcam. So what options do you have, but you still wanna get good webcam or good quality? Chances are you're like me and you have a cell phone, like an iPhone or a Pixel phone or a Samsung phone or something like that, sitting in your pocket doing nothing while you're streaming. Why not use it as a webcam? That's these are honestly a great options for a lot of content creators because you can usually get the app to use your phone as a webcam for about seven to 15 bucks, right? And you get a lifetime license to, to using it. I mean, you can't really beat that. I mean, you're gonna spend 20 bucks on a cheapo webcam or you're gonna spend, you know, half that or three quarters of that getting a high quality, webcam that that's sitting in your pocket doing nothing now i will say if you do have the budget for a webcam there's an argument to be made for getting a a reasonably priced like logitech c920 for example and then using your cell phone for something like a stream deck where you're using either stream deck mobile or touch portal right you, you can get stream deck mobile for like 20 bucks for a year uh, so it would take like six years before you got up to the same price as a stream deck. But Touch Portal is like 12, 13 bucks and you get it for your, a lifetime. So, I mean, that's, plus you can use it on a tablet. And you can have up to like 150 buttons. If you want a video on Touch Portal, let me know. But uh, there is an argument to be made for a, a budget webcam, a reasonably priced $50, $60 webcam and using your phone as like a stream deck. It's gonna up your production quality. It's gonna allow you to do a few uh, cooler things. It's gonna allow you to better control your stream. So all in all, it's just kind of a better, if you ask me, a better situation. Now, finally, we have the king of cameras, uh, the, the holy grail, the thing that most content creators aspire to, which is the DSLR. Now with the DSLR, there's two things that's going to get in the way. One is price. My DSLR setup with like a Sony a6000 with a Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 lens ran me about a thousand dollars, significantly higher than even the best webcam at $300. With that being said, you do get, you do get better quality, I will say, but there are diminishing returns. It's not like the jump that you make from going from, uh, a, well, we'll go back to, to the scene with all the cameras on it, right? Going from the cheap Chinese webcam here for 20 bucks up to the Logitech Brio, right? For 120 bucks, right? $100 more gets you a way better camera. From $300 for the, with the, for the Elgato Facecam Pro to $1,000 for the Sony A6000 and, and a good lens, you're, you're not gonna get that much better quality. There's a massive argument to be made for not spending your money on a DSLR. Now, I will say, if you're gonna take your camera out vlogging, if you're gonna take your camera out for photography, if you're gonna take your camera out for all these different things and you really just don't wanna use your phone, 
there's an argument to be made to getting a DSLR. But that brings in the second point, the second downside to a DSLR is the learning curve. You'll notice how I mentioned Sony a6000 with a Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 lens, right? Understanding what that means and how those numbers affect your camera and what that even means and you know what's a what's a crop sensor, what's a full frame sensor, what's a micro four thirds sensor, you know what's aperture, what's what's shutter speed, what's ISO, all of these different things. Not to say you can't learn them, but you have to understand there is there is a learning curve with getting a DSLR camera. So things to keep in mind. But guys, at the end of the day, like I said, I'm not here to tell you which camera to go buy. At the end of the day, it's your money. You go do what you want with it. But I, I really want to reinforce with you guys that the, the gear does not make the creator. It, it Creativity comes from working within limitations. I, I, I feel like, I firmly believe that's the creator in content creator. That's the creativity, the create part of content creator is that creativity of solving problems, overcoming, overcoming obstacles to tell your story and get your point across. So I would invite you to really consider how you're spending your money and is there a better way to spend your money? Don't make hasty financial decisions when it comes to buying gear. I would argue, sit on it for a week. They say wait 24 hours, I say wait a week. Really figure out what it is you're wanting to do. What do you really need? And maybe you wanna purchase something for some longevity. Again, the Logitech Brio is used by the largest YouTube streamer on earth. There's literally no reason why you really need anything else. If the quality is good enough for him, the quality is good enough for you. Getting a better camera quality is not gonna make you more entertaining. It's not gonna make you more charismatic. It's not gonna make you feel more confident in yourself. So just take a deep breath. It's gonna be okay. And, and just keep on, keep on creating. Use your brain, be smart about it, okay? But guys, if you found this video even remotely useful, even remotely helpful, even remotely uh, inspiring in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and subscribe, and head on over to Twitch. Um, while I'm still over there, there's some, some stuff hitting the fan, so I might be jumping ship over to YouTube here in a little bit, but if you're interested, uh, definitely hit me up, and, and I'd love to chat with you guys, okay? Links are all down in the description to everything I've mentioned, everything I've talked about, everything you might need. Uh, depending on what kind of situation you're wanting to go for. But guys, have a good one. Bye-bye.